Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you what you should do if you are trying to design your printed circuit board, trying to place parts, but then you run into this error where you select a device and you get in the command line that it cannot load the symbol for that footprint. Okay, so to, so, uh, to solve this problem, you want to check a few things. One, that in your setup for your settings in the PCB editor, you would go to your user preferences, check your path, and check that you are looking at all the right folders for your PSM path. PSM stands for package symbol in ORCAD, and package symbol is the cadence way of calling something a footprint. So it looks in the current directory for whichever printed circuit board or BRD file you have open. Um, and it will look in a subfolder called symbols. It'll look in the folder above it, the folder above it, at, in a folder called symbols above your, your existing board project. And then it will look in these default folders as well. So if your PCB footprint is not in one of these folders, then guaranteed you're going to get this error. It just will not load the footprint. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'll open up one of these folders. The most common folder I go to is this standard cadence folder. There are other folders like your, you know, if you're using 17.4, it'll help the downloaded parts Allegro PCB folder for your footprints. And also your, your share local PCB symbols folder, but I don't use those too much. I use mostly the standard library. And here, my resistor has a problem. I just want a 1206 resistor. So Cadence has a lot of resistors, a lot of footprints already that come with the software. Now, I know PCB designers and myself, we, we always make our own footprints from scratch anyway. But for demonstration purposes, this is fine. This is good enough. So you would see here SMR1206. This is a uh, surface mount resistor 1206 package okay and then what i would do is go into capture recognize which part has this error you know r2 r4 according to the design rule checker in orcad capture and then what i can do is right click on the part edit the properties make sure that i'm set to orcad pcb designer you know whatever version of the software i'm using i'm using professional then scroll over to the side here. Um, and th this is all assuming that you maybe don't have the right footprint or something, or you don't have the footprint that it's calling for. Um, a quick fix is to just use a standard footprint name and then go with that. All right, so what will happen is the DRC, the live DRC will update and no longer give that error for that part. Here, I'll repeat it with R4 in my schematic. So I'm just going to go and double click on the error message. That takes me to R4. Hit Edit Properties. And then I'll just go in here and Control-V to paste the footprint name. And now once I click off of that, you know, it should update. So save. Sure. OK. And then that's gone. Here we have a connector specified in PCB footprint for instance, J1 is missing, you know, R1 is missing. So we'll just change this for R1 as well. We can do it for multiple parts at one time, like R1 and R2, right? So I would actually, I can actually do control A on all of my devices, then right click edit properties, then filter by parts using the parts tab on the lower left. Now for R1 and R2, make sure to expand this column. R1, R2, go over here to my PCB footprint property. And then I can just actually just copy this with a control C, paste it. And I can also use my mouse to click and drag and it will update all of them, you know? So, oh, <clears throat> what happened though is that I copied the wrong name. So I can do a control Z and instead highlight these where my actual footprint i want is drag up and it will replace it just like that just like excel and do a control s to save that so that is solution one that is placing uh placing a default footprint name inside of your pcb footprint property an alternative is 
is if let's say if you have your PCB footprint and it just wasn't in the folder, then you want to make sure to place your PCB footprint, the DRA file, the drawing file that allows you to modify and edit the footprint, and the PSM file, which is the compiled version of the footprint once you're done with your drawing and committed your changes. And this file is, it has a, it has some kind of encryption or something that you, it's, you can't just read it with a text editor or something like that. Whereas the DRA, you can, you can edit this in PCB editor, okay? And you put it in that folder. If you have your own custom folder, then you can add your custom folder here. Let's say you don't want to put your footprints in any of these folders. You can actually put your footprint in the same folder as your board file. Um, so this board file is in the same folder as my project. So if I were to go to capture, see in my layout, my layout folder here, I can right click and choose. Well, actually, let's go here the top of the design, right click, open file location. And then that shows me my OPJ file, which is my main overall project file that tells me where all my files are. My DSN file, which holds my schematic, that's the DSN over on the left. And then here, there's a folder in here called Allegro. Allegro is typically the folder where you would hold your BRD, your board file. That is this one that I have open here where I had the error. And then even in this board file, like you can you can put footprints, whatnot, um, and symbols. You can even make a symbols folder in here. But this folder where the board file is, this is what is being called the dot file. So with the dot location. And so in this dot directory, you can make a folder called symbols, put your footprint in there. You can make, you, you can go up to I mean, up one folder with this double dot and then put a symbols folder in here, right? And then it, uh, PCB editor will automatically look through these folders and find it for you. Okay, so that's the other way. The third solution, let's say you put your footprint in one of these folders or in a custom folder that you would add here you know, and put it in your D drive or E drive or something like that. Let's say you still get the symbol load error. What do you do then? Most likely it's due to a pad stack on the footprint that is missing. Um, and, but you know, if it's missing, why are you able to open the footprint, right? So what you'd need to do is make some modifications, save the pad stack separately in its, in the same folder as the footprint. Um, and, and, and then it will load properly. If you want to do more details on how to do that, you can check that in my video. Okay, so now that we have updated the footprint name, the changes have not carried over into the netlist or into PCB editor. So here, if I try to place my component manually and try to place this R2 here or even grab it, it doesn't, it doesn't recognize, it still thinks that I have this footprint. So I need to update what's called the netlist. The netlist, is actually three files in your design on an Allegro and it would be held typically in this Allegro folder. So what you want to do is go into Capture. You know, if you're using Capture version 17.2 or this version 17.4 of the software, you can actually go to Tools, Create Netlist. And then set your netlist directory. It can be set it to design exe and whatnot. I'm actually going to set this to my Allegro folder in here. Click OK. And then it will generate my, my netlist files. PTSChip.dat, uh, PTSCMDB, PTS, PST, uh, XNet.dat, PST, xprt.dat. These are the netlist files. And that's generated. Then what I'll have to do is get PCB editor to read that netlist. So I would import, choose import netlist. And I have ORCAD, so I'll go with design entry CIS capture. Right? I can modify these settings, ignore fixed property on parts that are ready in my board, so on and so forth. 
the import directory is set to a period. That means that just says look in the current directory of this board file. So that's the Allegro folder here. Um, and then that list files are in the same folder as this board file as you saw earlier, right? These are the net list files. This is the board file. So all I have to do is hit import and it will import the changes. It will tell me some warnings, you know, some symbols that uh, are not there or don't exist, not found, so on and so forth. But now that the netlist is updated into the printed circuit board, or this PCB database BRD file, I can go to place components manually, choose R1 or R2. In fact, let's go with R2 again. Now the footprint loads. I can hide that, zoom in and place my resistor. Okay, so those are the three things, the three methods. One, your footprint name is either wrong, misspelled, or something, maybe is an extra space in ORCAD capture settings for your part in the property editor. So you want to fix that and make sure it matches the footprint name exactly. The second potential problem is that you don't have a folder like the, where your footprint is. It's not in any of the folders that Allegro actually is looking inside of in the setup user preferences, library PSM path location. Maybe you don't have a footprint in any of these folders. The third problem that could cause this or the third reason for this problem is that you you might have the footprint in a folder um, and the folder is just not in this list and the fourth thing is maybe you have a footprint in the folder in the list in here but it doesn't have pad stacks in that same folder that the footprint is calling okay i won't cover pad stacks in this video but uh, those are how you can solve this cannot load symbol error in orcap